Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another Transformers review. This time we're taking a look at a Transformers Prime Beast Hunters figure, and it's Knockout. And yes, this figure, so, so strange. Um, I actually got this figure from a guy named Carl off of the Cybertron Cafe. Uh, he had sent him to me uh, due to a uh, part that was missing for a simplified Predaking. And uh, he went ahead and sent this to me as a replacement. Um, which is fine um, because I actually need the figure for a customization and I figured well before I do the customization I might as well go ahead and do a review on this guy and I have actually got a respect for this figure I may pick another one of these up uh, to actually keep uh, because it is so different and so weird of the figure um, so obviously they've kind of beast huntered him out and he's got these weird kind of spikes. Um, as you can see, the paint scheme is totally different than um, what you would see on a regular um, knockout figure. And kind of get a close up of him real fast. Um, very, very different. You can see the car uh, door here, but we have these kind of green scaly bits and this swirly plastic, which is kind of an interesting deco, um, gives him this kind of alligator look. And if you notice, his weapon is a little alligator looking thing um, that has a spring in it. And rawr, rawr, rawr. But I like how it's kind of this mace, this kind of cool little morning star thing. Um, but yeah, definitely a cool figure. Um, it is different. I will give it that. Um, it is very, very, very different. Now, transformation on the figure is not too terribly bad. The biggest issue I have, um, these shoulder pieces pop off like that. Um, but, I mean, they snap right back on. But they're just kind of uh, an annoyance to get in and switch some parts around to get into the uh, vehicle mode. Now, once you get the doors up, it's the arms getting them to lock into place proper. Um, once you do that, you can fold the legs back up, and it's really fine. Um, the one thing, I think the weakest part on the design are down here on the legs, those kind of spindly spine-looking things. Um, looks like he's wearing slippers. Uh, it's very, very strange. Uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's a pretty decent little figure. It's just very ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly, it's cute. Um, and I do appreciate the the different awkwardness of this figure, for sure. Um, he really doesn't have a lot of vehicle kibble, uh, except for the wheels hanging off the back, and that's really not too bad at all. I like how the doors, or actually it's the door in the top of the hood of the vehicle, clamp down to make his arms. I think that was a really good design. And I like the head sculpt on him. It is um, the original knockout kind of had this weird smirk and he's just kind of got this nice straight uh, face uh, which is cool that's actually why I wanted this figure is for that uh, head sculpt uh, so I can actually put it on a wheel jack figure um, so yeah pretty cool kind of interesting um, definitely different if you like weird goofy transformers uh, this is definitely one that you're probably going to want. If you don't like that stuff, you're not going to like this figure. So let's get him over into his um, vehicle mode and see what we think about that. All right, so here we have Knockout in his vehicle mode. And it's strange. <laughs> it is just very, very strange. Um... He's got this kind of reptilian thing going on. We got these kind of really cool fins going on the side here. Um, we have some kind of like scalage going on here, and it's melded in with the actual car mode. Um, it's got the painted headlights, which looks really, really cool. And there are these teeth that can come off the grill. There's a lot of really nice detail in the grill. Uh, we do have the yellow... Um, Lights painted into the silver apps, really, really nice, but just nice, gnarly front end. Um, and the thing I really like about this mode, uh, the light really picks up all the nice little swirls that are in the green plastic, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, the back end does have uh, 
some detail molded in. Of course, nothing is painted on there, but that's okay. Um, we do have the nice wheels. They're very small though. Um, and I would like to have seen maybe gold on the actual rims. I think that would have went well with the teeth on the front of the vehicle. And what's really cool <clears throat> about these Beast Hunters figures, well, especially this one in particular, this really kind of takes the beast on because his melee weapon, uh, which kind of looks like a little dragon thing here with the little red eyes, um, this can actually clamp onto the back of the car mode like that. So, I mean, it literally just clamps onto it and it becomes this tail. Uh, so now he's kind of this alligator alligator con car thing which is really really interesting um it's kind of a vehicle and kind of a beast interesting concept it really is an interesting concept and while i think this thing is really quite hideous to be honest um it is the most interesting of all the redesigns from the beast hunters figures uh for the autobots and decepticons and I can appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. We do have a little silver Decepticon logo there. Um, I think it actually looks better in this beast car mode than it does in the regular car mode. Um, it really kind of brings the alligator tail out and brings all that kind of scalage um, and that swirly green and looks really, really cool. So this may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely an interesting figure. If you can find this figure cheap, sure, pick it up mainly because it's different. Uh, it really is. So there he is. Knockout Beast Hunter Alligator Con Car Mode. Sure. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. And uh, definitely share my videos. And as always, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. And look for more videos in the future.